I hope if you're watching this, you actually did the stuff I spoke about in the previous video because this is building on that. Quick disclaimer that I'm not an acting coach. I'm not an acting consultant. I am an actor who is doing this as if you were my best friend and you were like, Belgica, ¿qué hago? Dime. So I'm just telling you exactly what I would tell my best friend. First of all, the, what I'm about to say is going to piss some of you off. Get vaccinated and boosted if you're not. And that's, wait, 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 let me tell you why. Because a lot of acting classes do require you to be up to date. A lot of jobs require you to have that. So it's not like, okay, once I find an acting class, like I'll consider it. Once I get booked in a job, I'll consider it. As you probably know, it takes at least two weeks in order for all of the magic to work in your body. I'm just saying it's going to make it a lot easier. I'm not telling you that this is what you should absolutely do. I'm just saying like if you're asking me, if you want me to tell you what to do, that's one of the things. And I'm also not a doctor. I'm not, I don't really know what's going to happen long term with all of this. So I'm just telling you as an actor, sometimes you got to do stuff that maybe you don't quite like. Now we're going to start choosing some acting classes for beginners. The biggest piece of advice I can give you, especially if you've never taken an acting class is do not get stuck trying to find the perfect acting class. A lot of people do research of like, okay, which acting class can I take that's going to help me become the best actor ever and make me famous? Don't try and go at this in the most perfect manner because you're never going to start. Especially at the beginning, you want to take some kind of intro to acting or um, if there's a, a certain technique that you've done a lot of research and you're like, yes, I love this technique. Let's do this one. But you're going to take more acting classes. Trust me, it's not the end of the world if you choose an acting class and you're like, huh, that one wasn't for me. There's some questions that you really should ask yourself before you go ahead and sign up for that acting class. And I already made a video about questions that you should ask yourself. So please watch this video specifically for like the nitty gritty of each of the types of acting classes that I'm about to talk about. I'm a firm believer in in-person acting classes. I am not going to advise you at least not right now in the beginning of 2023 to go take an online acting class. If you are able to, like if you don't live at the end of the earth, please take an in-person acting class. I think they're far more beneficial. Not only will you get the experience closer to what you will be like on set, um, you will be working with people and having to interact with a bunch of different people, but you're going to make much more close-knit relationships if you are going to act in class with them. So if the instructor is also a casting director or if your fellow other actors in the acting class are producers or writers or you can just make projects with in general, you're going to have such better relationships if you're actually in person and having to rehearse out of class. There's a bunch of different kinds and you don't have to say yes to them immediately. There are workshops that are very short commitment. So usually there are a few sessions or one session for like five hours. Those are the most flexible. So those are really great. And just getting to know yourself and what kind of acting classes you like and the techniques, the different techniques that they are. Acting classes at a studio where you um, meet weekly uh, for a few months, years, or indefinitely, those kind of acting classes, you have a lot of potential of being able to research them because you can ask around online and see if, and if anybody in the area has taken those. Asking other people for their experiences is really good to get their perspective, but remember you are not going to have the same experience as them get a, a little bit of an idea of like, oh, there's this one student or there's this one section of the class. But once you get past that, it gets really good. Like just little nuggets of whatever might happen. I talked about Facebook last time and Facebook again, there's so many acting groups on Facebook where you can just make a post and people will tell you so many different studios and classes they've taken. So that is an amazing resource. And of course you can just do a post anywhere else, Instagram, TikTok, wherever, and ask people, hey, have you taken any in-person acting classes in Houston uh, that you really liked or that you really didn't like? A lot of those classes will let you audit them, which means they will let you go into the class and see what one class is like or have an intro session. And a studio that I know has an intro session is a Meisner studio in Burbank that I've talked about in previous videos. And I can tell you that the audit and the actual class are actually very similar. In the audit, you get to participate, you do exercises, you introduce yourself, you get to know the instructor. Um, though if you're interested in that one, it's in Burbank, LA. And uh, the next one is January 14th, 2023. But if you're watching this after that, um, they 
constantly update their website and you can see when the next one is. I also audited the Beverly Hills Playhouse when they were in San Francisco a, lo a long time ago and I also really enjoyed it. So I suggest that you audit more than two. I'm, I'm crazy and every time I audit a class and I love it, I'm just like, I want to take it. But maybe you're less crazy than me and you should audit a few more and really get to know it. I'm giving you advice of like mistakes I made and what I know should have would have been better. So audit a class. While you're doing research for those acting classes, there's also books about techniques that you can be reading to see if you like them. Meisner on acting is a great one if you're interested in Meisner technique. And this one also gives you a lot of really great like beginner things to acting classes. So if you want to go into the acting class knowing a little bit, you know, not just going in there, not knowing any acting terms or anything, read at least a couple of chapters of a few different techniques so you can see what you're getting yourself into in those classes and always ask ask what kind of technique they offer in these specific classes because sometimes it's just intro to acting by I don't know my friend Timothy Holes and then you're like okay but what are you going to teach us Timothy so do your research make sure to go watch that video of what questions to ask yourself before you do sign up for the acting class and start training this might seem scary to you but I want you to start practicing self tape auditions and we're going to start in the most chill way okay first of all i want you to look around in your home and see where there's a solid wall white if you have one like this one practice your slates and this is more to get yourself comfortable with um, being on camera and talking to the camera so just go ahead and do your slate like hi my name is belgica rodriguez i'm 510 and i'm based out of burbank it might be a little bit echoey. The lighting might be a little bit strange right now, but it's okay. And do that for at least five days and five at a time. Just say it, say it, say it. Because sometimes people really get stuck in like saying it like a robot or get really nervous. And Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez, 510, located in Burbank. Like, it's just, just be a little bit more relaxed. I personally think that more relaxed slates are a little bit better. And while you're doing this, make sure that you watch back your slates so that you can find out, do I keep fixing my hair? Which is something that I do a lot, but not during my slates. Uh, do you clap your, your hand on your side when you're doing your slate? See if you move too much or blink too much when you're doing your slate. And you can be like, oh, I don't do those things normally. I'm just nervous in front of the camera. I'm just not comfortable in front of the camera yet. It does help if you imagine yourself in a specific situation, like you're introducing yourself to somebody who maybe you know who they are, but they don't know who you are and you're excited to meet them. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I'm 5'10 and I'm located out of Burbank. Do it a bunch of times and then eventually it will start feeling better. I'm also going to open up a way as a friend, as an actor, not an acting coach, a way that you can send in your self tape and I can give you some feedback about what you can improve as far as like the framing, the lighting, the sound, and you're acting a little bit as well. But really, you just need to go to an acting class and have somebody in person give you feedback. In this next video, we're going to talk about headshots, resume, creating a reel at home. Yes, already so that people can really see what you're like on camera and setting up a good self tape studio 